Mr. No, let me start with you. Um, is Antifa violent? And what specific acts of violence have you personally witnessed? Yes, they're violent. And I'll start with the what I witnessed was what happened to me on the 29th of June, 2019. That was a ostensibly anti-racist protest that was organized in downtown Portland. It involved Rose City Antifa, which is an organization. Um, it involved the local chapter of the Democratic Socialists of America. And I came there with my GoPro and my iPhone to record. And I was beaten by a mob, people who use uh, brass knuckles that were hidden under gloves, uh, punching me repeatedly in, in the, f the front, the top, and the back of my head. And then when I thought they were done, uh, that was just the half of it. Next came all those milkshakes and other unknown liquids that were hurled at my face. Uh, and I know milkshakes can sound kind of um, cute as a protest, but really when they're thrown at force in your face, it's a viscous liquid. You can't see where to go. Uh, so that was my first one of my first experiences with their violence directly since then um i've seen numerous times in Portland. And, and is it right that you uh received significant injuries from that yes a brain bleed from that please continue i'm sorry oh and i wasn't the only victim that day there were seven other people who were hospitalized. There was only one conviction related to another person who was assaulted, beaten on the head with a brick and, other, and a baton and other weapons. Um, so it, Portland is the epicenter. It's been going on since 2016, really, in response to the surprise election win of Trump. And uh, what I see happening there is the local politicians have been sort of nur nurturing um, and allowing this extremism to go on. And that's why it's in the predicament that it's in now where there's over two months of violent protests. And I see all these headlines talking about how things are peaceful now because the federal authorities are uh, less visible. That's inaccurate. That's a falsehood. Uh, yesterday and the day before, uh, you know where the attacks happen? Instead of the federal court downtown, uh, Antifa black bloc militant stuff for, uh, tried a new tactic. They attacked the Southeast Precinct in Southeast Portland. So um, this problem is not going away. It's continuing. And um, hopefully my testimony here to Congress shows that I, I don't come with a partisan message. They're, if you read their literature, they're very clear in calling for the abolishment of the U.S.